Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 in this video series where we are designing a chatbot using Power Virtual Agents. Now if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you head back to watch our previous video where we built an internal chatbot to connect employees to IT and sales resources and then deployed that in Microsoft Teams. Today we'll be looking at how you can design a customer facing chatbot for your app or website that utilizes Power Automate to interact with users and log information on an intake form for your sales team to use as leads. So let's take a look. All right, so something I like to do when creating process flows is just do some sketching around how I think things should progress. Now this diagram that I created doesn't use the correct symbols in the right places, but that's fine. I'm just wanting to create a visual representation of what's in my head so that I can work out the kinks here before I start building everything. The goal of this topic is to take a question from the user about what Bix does and the services it provides and connect that person, if they wish, with a representative who can provide more information. We also want to store this user's information in a document that the sales team can use for leads. So step one of this flow is to take in the user's question, followed by the bot acknowledging with a message and then asking which service the user would like to know more about. The user's answer here will put them on one of these three conditional paths, analytic solutions, data management, or artificial intelligence and machine learning. From there, the bot will ask the user if they'd like to be contacted by a representative. If the user chooses no, then the bot will provide some contact information for the user to act on whenever they're ready to learn more and the conversation will then end. If the user chooses yes, then we'll begin collecting contact information from the user to be stored in our lead file, and a representative will reach out shortly. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Now there are a couple things we need to do outside of just creating our topic in order to get this flow to work. We need to build the actual lead file where contact data will be stored. We need to find a location on our SharePoint site to store the file for the sales team to access. We need to build out our topic and we need to design the flow in Power Automate to write user information to the file. Luckily, this can all be done pretty easily. Let's start by building the lead file. Go ahead and open up Excel, and we're going to create a small table to store information gathered in the topic. We know we're going to need fields for name, email address, phone, and business. And let's format this into a table, and then we'll just save locally for now. In SharePoint, I've gone ahead and created a new site to store this data as an intake form. You may choose to create a new site or place the file in an existing folder. If I click on Documents, you can see where I've already created the Intake Forms folder, and if we open it up, you'll see that I've uploaded our lead file here. Great, on to the next step. We're now going to create our topic, and within this process, we'll also use Power Automate within another topic to design the flow that writes the data to our lead file. For the initial topic, open up your chatbot in Power Virtual Agents and add a new topic. Let's call this topic Services. Since we'll want this topic to activate when users on our website are asking about our services, we'll design appropriate phrases for the trigger like, what does Bix do? How can Bix help my business? What services does Bix provide? And others. We'll acknowledge the user by saying, great question. Then, we want to find out which service specifically the user would like to know more about. So we'll design a multiple choice question to set the user on the correct flow path. Our options will be analytic solutions, data management, and AI and machine learning. We'll save the user's input into a variable and rename the variable something like intake form service. We'll create three separate conditional paths and set the path trigger to the intake form service variable we just defined. For our analytic solutions path, we'll create a message that acknowledges the user's selection and provides just a little more information about the services provided. Let's go ahead and do this for the other two paths as well. Now, this kind of makes sense as the time within the interaction to see if the user would be open to being contacted by us. If so, we could classify that user as a lead and we would want our sales team to reach out to make a direct connection. So let's create a multiple choice question asking if the user would like to be contacted. We'll store the user's response into a variable. If the user elects not to share their information, 
We'll acknowledge that with a message and maybe list our own contact information so that the user can reach out to us whenever they're ready. This will be the last step of this path branch. At this point, we'll want to save this topic and create the other topic that will house the Power Automate flow. Head back to the Topics page and create a new one. Let's call this topic Intake Form. The first message will let the user know we're going to ask for some information. Our first question will ask for the user's name. We'll set this question to accept the person name data type. You can choose to leave this as user's entire response if you'd like the chatbot to accept and store any entry here. Let's update the variable name to something that identifies the value, like intake form name. Our next question will ask for the user's email address. Let's change the data type to email and update the variable name. The third question will ask for a phone number. And finally, we'll ask for the user's business or organization to also store in the lead spreadsheet. Now, let's create the flow that will use these variable values to add a new row to the lead spreadsheet. Go ahead and add a new node, then select Call in Action, then Create a Flow. This will take us into the Power Automate app and create a start point and end point. I'm going to name my flow Bix Website Intake Form. In the start point, we'll want to define the contact information we'll be receiving from the chatbot. Click to add an input, then select Text, since the first data point we'll be gathering is Name. In the first box, type Name, then type Name in the second box as well. We'll repeat the steps for Email, Phone, and Business. Click to add a new node, then select Add an Action, Search for Add a Row into a Table, and select that action. In the Location dropdown, find the SharePoint site that houses your lead file. Open up Document Library and find your file's location. Then find the file in the File dropdown. We'll be storing the data in Table 1 and you see Power Automate populates the fields in that table. Now we want to define exactly which fields from the chatbot will be stored in our table. For the name field, select Name from the Power Virtual Agents list. We'll do the same for the other fields. Go ahead and click Save. Head back to the topic, and when we now click Call in Action in our node, we can select the flow we just created. We need to tell Power Automate where to get the values for name, email, phone, and business, and we can do so by assigning our variables to each of these values. So for name, we'll select intake form name. For email, we'll go with the email variable. And we'll do this for the remaining fields. Let's add a final message letting the user know a representative will be in touch. Go ahead and save, and then let's head back to our services topic. Add a new node after the Yes condition and select Redirect to another topic. Then find the intake form topic we just created. Now, after the user selects Yes to have a Bix representative reach out, the intake form topic will be activated and the contact information questions will begin. At this point, we can go ahead and test before building out the same structure for our other two paths. Open the test bot and trigger the topic. Let's work our way down the analytics solutions path and first select no to see if the contact message shows up. It does. Now let's clear out the test bot and follow the same route. This time we'll select yes to be contacted. We can see that we are redirected to the intake form topic and we are prompted to begin entering our information. I'll fill this out with some test data, and when we're finished, we'll see the closing message. Let's head over to our spreadsheet on SharePoint and see if our test data populated. It did! Great! You could enable your sales team to have access to this folder so they're aware of any leads coming through, 
and even set up a flow to alert the team when new entries are received. One other cool thing I wanted to highlight that Power Virtual Agents chatbots can do is skip ahead in the topic if the way the user frames their input allows for it. So if we trigger the topic by using the phrase, what business analytic solutions does Bix provide? The chatbot knows which path to direct us and bypasses the step where we select which service we're interested in. Even if the trigger phrase is simply analytic solutions, the chatbot still recognizes the relationship and bypasses the service selection step. Pretty cool. Finally, don't forget to add the topic redirect step to the data management and AI and machine learning paths. Save and your lead capturing chatbot is complete. For a little more authentic testing experience, we can go back out to the chatbot's homepage and select go to demo website to do testing in a browser environment. And that's it. Thanks for hanging out for this video series. If you have any questions or comments about this process, or if you have your own chatbot building experiences you'd like to share, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from our channel, and thanks for watching.